I'm gonna be unboxing the Arduino Uno R3. So uh, we'll, we'll take a look around the box and then we'll talk about the Arduino and we'll just look around the Arduino a bit. So first of all, here you can see, it's the official Arduino Uno in here. So yeah, let's just talk about the box. So you can see it's written Arduino Uno R3 board. And uh, you can see this teal color that I love. It's the official Arduino teal color. Then you got an image of the Arduino. On the other side, you just see a few, uh, you know, a symbol of the Italy and design assembled. That kind of stuff. You see a barcode and you just see Uno R3 board. Now, as you know, the Arduino Uno is a board. There's also an Arduino IDE, which allows you to program it. And so it's basically a full board that allows you to use this microcontroller. You get the idea. So now let's talk about the specs. This is a Uno R3. So it has an Atmega 32HP from Atmel. The, it has 32 KB of uh, kilobytes of flash, two kilobytes of SRAM, and one kilobyte of EEPROM. Interfaces, it supports 12C, SPI, UART, USB, 7 to 12 volt, um, you know, input and 5 volt operating across the board. And then it has 20 diesel pins, 6 PWM pins, and 6 analog pins with uh, the given dimensions. Not really useful. So you can just open it from one side and so thanks to coronavirus or on thanks to coronavirus the shipping was kind of delayed and the box is not in the best condition but still first of all you get a little arduino sticker set you can see it has an arduino heart sticker arduino heart open source sticker hacked diy arduino and just the arduino logo so yeah nice sticker pack in the same theme color color theme and then once we actually get to the arduino we have to go through a bunch of manuals before we get there. So sliding open the box, that's all there is. You get a little Arduino manual, which we'll talk about a bit. You now just thank you for choosing an Arduino board and supporting the community, Arduino. And they just have some manuals, so just place that there. Then you actually have the Arduino, which we'll talk about in a second because it's the most important part. Plus, it comes with a case. So this case is actually more like a holder made out of plastic. And once you put the Arduino in it, all the standoffs on the Arduino, they already have holes there, plus extra ones here. So basically just like a little holder with some like uh, perforation holes for cooling, I think. Then we move on to the most important part, the Arduino. So I'm just gonna zoom in a bit here. Okay, sorry. Yeah, so we move on to the most important part, the Arduino. So you can see, since it's an Arduino Uno Rev3, you have a 3DOAP, as I said. You have a bit more, you know, power management, Atmega AQ2 there, and well, that's basically it. Then you have some pins over here. You can see these are for power, analog in, and then the digital pins, out of which you have the PWM pins here. You have the TXRX, transmit, receive, the official Arduino logo, the normal backplate, you can see, assemb designed and assembled in Italy, Arduino.cc, the official website. Uh, then you also see a printer, cable port, a charging port, you see some other pins, and that's basically it. So in the power, you can also see it has a 3.3 volt, 5 volt, ground, and when then it has the analogs which can not only measure high and low one and zero but they can also measure the the current then you just have the digital pins that also have pwm uh, you also have another ground rf pins extra pins and another reset switch a few mosfets and other things on the board for power regulation at, at etc and that's basically the board now looking at it and comparing the arduino you know, Rev 2 to the Rev 3 and this, maybe being original, maybe not. We can see that there are quite some differences, especially in the color and placement of some components. So the color is the Arduino teal here, while it's a more dark blue here. Other stuff is mostly same, except, you know, the Arduino Uno logo, the square instead of like that, a bit spacier. And that's basically it. So do look into buying an Arduino and supporting the community. Tell me in the comments which project you want to run on your Arduino. If you're buying Arduino Uno, Nano, Micro, Mega, or whatever other um, 
Arduino you're buying, the purposes you'll use it for, and anything else Arduino related in the comments. Also check out my video on the Arduino Uno SMD versus THM, we'll have it linked. Do look into buying an Arduino and supporting the community. And uh, okay, thanks for watching guys, peace.